Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we performed a simulation which analyzed heat transfer in a plate under torch heating. In this video, we will compute stress and strain distribution of the plate under the temperature distribution. Usually in a thermomechanical problem, the thermal analysis and stress analysis have mutual relationship and affect each other. But in some case, we can assume that thermal analysis has effect on the stress analysis, but stress analysis has not any effect on the thermal analysis. In this case, we can use sequentially thermomechanical analysis, which means at first we perform a thermal analysis and then using the result we perform another analysis which compute stress and strain and displacement of the structure. This is the ODB file of the previous video and we also use the CAE file and change it to perform a stress displacement analysis. At first we start from part. We have no change in part and just save as the file. Then we go to the property module. We have some thermal property from our previous analysis. We can keep them or delete them. We should add some mechanical properties like elastic properties and also an important property which connects two simulations is the expansion coefficients of the material. We have no change in assembly module and we should replace this step from heat transfer to a mechanical analysis which could be a static general or dynamic explicit. We are performing a static general simulation and we also reduce the size of our increments because the process is transient and stress distribution vary with time. We should have small increments to capture the stress and strain in different time. We also increase the number of the increments. There are some thermal interactions in our previous model between the plate and environment we can deactivate or delete these interactions. In load module also we can delete loads related to the thermal analysis. Deleting or deactivating these loads has the equal result. We also have an active predefined field. We delete all predefined field from the previous simulation. Now we should apply nodal temperature computed from our previous simulation to the current simulation by creating predefined field and picking the plate. We should apply nodal temperature from the ODB file of the previous video. We just picked the ODB file here. And since we want to use the total step and total increments, we do not enter anything here. This is an option to choose between steps and increments and use special steps or increments to enter the nodal temperatures. In the next step, for performing a mechanical analysis, we should fix all degrees of freedom of the plate. The plate has six rigid degrees of freedom and we should fix them. At first, we pick a point and fix all translational degrees of freedom of this point by pinned constraint and then Please notice that fixing a line or a face of the plate will result in 
thermal stresses which are not real and the result of our problem will be inaccurate. Therefore, we apply fixing 6 rigid degrees of freedom by this method. Now we want to prevent the plate from rotation. We pick this point. By fixing this point in the third direction, the plate cannot rotate around the Y axis. And by fixing this point in the second direction, the plate cannot rotate around the Z axis. Now we should only fix the rotation of the plate around the X axis. For X rotation, we pick another point. and fix this point in the third direction. Now the all six degrees of freedom of the plate are fixed. In the next step we go to the mesh module. Please notice that in mesh module we cannot change the mesh number or node number or position of mesh. We only can change element type. The element type should be standard and 3D stress instead of heat transfer. We can use incompatible elements which are suitable for modeling bending. If we change mesh more than this, we cannot use our previous modeling for extracting nodal temperature. Then we create a job. We should change the job name because we need the ODB file from our previous job and we create a new job with new name and then submit the job and now we can go and see the results as you can see in this stress distribution counter there isn't any special stress concentration related to thermal stress, which means that our boundary condition was correct. We also could see the logarithmic strain, and as you can see, in the middle of the plate, which was subjected to the torch, the strain is higher. We also could plot displacement, and I scale the displacement by 100 factor and we can see a dome shape of the plate which means the plate has curvature in both x and y directions thank you guys for watching this video if this video has helped you out please let us know by a like a comment or a subscribe see you in the next videos